And with that failed onside kick recovery, the Lions lose again. Maybe I had this wrong the entire time. Matthew, thanks for sitting down with us today. Um, we'll get right into the nitty gritty. What about all of the critics and fans and players around the league that say you're garbage? Maybe it's not that Matt Stafford is trash. Maybe it's just that the Lions suck. And if that's the case, Matt Stafford should ask for a trade. For Detroit sports fans, seeing an all-time great player leave and move on to greener pastures and even win championships is nothing new. Leaving Detroit is the ultimate accomplishment in sports. Now for the longest time, I would go on spells where I would call Matt Stafford trash, but I always thought he was a good quarterback. Is he Aaron Rodgers? No, but he's not Mitch Trubisky, and Lions fans should be very thankful for that. Suck it, Chicago. Truth be told, Stafford is easily the greatest quarterback in Detroit Lions history. Don't believe me? Let's check the numbers. Matt Stafford has over 40,000 yards passing. The next closest, Bobby Lane. When Bobby Lane was quarterback, they had just invented the forward pass. Against the Minnesota Vikings, he became the fastest quarterback to join the exclusive 40,000 yards club, joining the likes of John Elway, Peyton Manning, and Joe Montana. So Stafford has been on pace with some of the most elite signal callers the game has ever seen. And I'm not saying he's a Hall of Famer, but by the end of his career, with a couple of playoff wins and one Super Bowl run, he could make his case. He's also had the benefit of playing from behind, if that's even a thing. 51.7% of his yards have come when the Lions were trailing. Well, why haven't the Lions won a Super Bowl? I'm glad you asked that. Since their inception, the Lions have an overall record of 562, 666, and 33. Winning seasons? Tuh. They've won three division titles and one playoff game in the Super Bowl era. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoff playoffs. We can't even win a game. They have no Super Bowl appearances. If we have a great defense, our offense is trash and vice versa. If we start out white hot, we're cooled off by week five. If we make it to the playoffs, we get screwed. The Lions have had two of the greatest skill players to ever play the game walk away in an early age because of how bad they are. Plain and simple, the Lions suck. Ever since Bobby Lane put that curse on them and William Clay Ford bought the team in 1963, they've been complete ass. A lot of people used to blame Stafford for Megatron retirement, but there's been an evolution to his game ever since he lost the wide receiver with a catch radius of a small garage. It's been the same level of production without one of the 10 greatest receivers of all time. Stafford has established himself as the face of this struggling franchise, and he is the sole reason that every Sunday, the Lions have a chance of victory. And listen, I commend you Lions fans for being brave and bold enough to watch Jeff Driscoll lead a team for 60 minutes, but I just can't do it. David Blau was pretty good on Thanksgiving, though. I'll give him that. And yes, I heard the stat pad for jokes, but think about this. The quarterback who ranks 10th in fourth quarter comebacks has to play harder in the fourth quarter because he plays for the Lions. This season alone, the Lions have the top two wide receivers in the NFL, and Matt Stafford was on pace for another Dark Horse MVP campaign. But it was derailed by injuries, and also, the Lions haven't had a running game since 1998. To date, the Lions' best season by a running back in Stafford's tenure was in 2014 with Reggie Bush. Man, just think of what throwing against man coverage every down would do for his numbers. Because teams would actually have to respect the run. If there's any running backs out there, please come to Detroit. And then there's this defense that couldn't stop a nosebleed in the nosebleed stopping factory. Now. I could wrap this up with a glimmer of hope or something positive about Matt Stafford remaining a Lion for the rest of his career. But as a Detroit Lions fan, I know that that won't happen, so I won't do it. Stafford doesn't get the credit he deserves because he plays in Detroit. I liken his career to Tony Romo or Phillip Rivers. Tony Romo and Phillip Rivers have had the teams, they've had the potential, but they just didn't win. Stafford has the potential. He's had a few teams, but he just hasn't won anything. The Lions should trade Stafford because he deserves to win. He's a great quarterback, and he should experience that somewhere else where he can lead a team to a Super Bowl.